this is Michelle Knight and this is the astrological update for Sagittarius for the week starting the 18th of June. Now this week kicks off with a new moon. New moons are all about endings and beginnings and transformation and leaving the past behind and shedding something. Starting again. Yes, it is. Brand new cycle for you. And it's in your seventh house of relationships. You have the opportunity to start again in some way to shed something. If you're single, it's a great day to conjure up a lover or to say to the universe, send the right soul for me. Let me draw towards me the person or persons that is right for me to connect with right now. And it's also about releasing any ideas you have about relationships. And that's really important because what we believe we create. So if you've got some ideas about relationship, that's a very powerful beacon that calls in that energy towards you. If you feel that you can't trust people, if you feel that the the whatever, whatever it is that you feel, you know, you could conjure up that energy. So look at your patterns and what you believe connects to relationships and then cast it out and ask for something else, something new to come your way that's fabulous. Now the summer solstice, interestingly, on the 21st, which is a day of celebration. It's the longest day. It's all about the joy of that peak experience is in your eighth house, which is all about sort of sensuality, sexuality, sex, death and rebirth and, and kind of maybe a situation where you're, you're kind of hiding something or you're allowing yourself to kind of feel something a little bit naughty. It could be quite an exciting day where anything could happen and it may feel as if you have to be a bit secretive about it. Or you might find that you have an emotion that you haven't been looking at connected to jealousy or powerlessness, and that comes up, but you're able to burn that in the joyful sunlight of the summer solstice. Now Uranus is in your fifth house, bringing you unexpected pleasure and the possibilities of love, lust, or passion. If you're in a relationship, it's a perfect time to recreate that. It is squaring Pluto in the second house, so you should be more focused on fun, joy, and happiness this month than anything practical. But you know what? Either way, you're going to have a great time, hopefully. Sending you much love. Let me know what happens, and I'll speak to you soon.